Hi, Alan Perak here. I just wanted to share my latest project with you. It's a clock. It displays hours, minutes, and seconds. So what's so special about it? Well, it uses multimeters to do it. And it's styled after a Simpson 260 multimeter. That was the first multimeter I ever used in college, so I'm pretty fond of it. Let's take a look and see how it works. Okay, so here's the front of the clock. Now, uh, everything you see here was actually created in CAD software, converted to G-code, and then everything was cut on a CNC machine. And as you can see, it's uh, not a faithful representation of a Simpson 260 meter. Uh, it's quite close, though. Uh, some of the, the styling was removed just to uh, keep it condensed a little bit. And where the original single meter was, I've replaced that with three meters, one for hours, one for minutes, and one for seconds. So there's the hours, minutes, and seconds. And as you can see, the original meter scales have been replaced with the appropriate meter scales. On the back of the meter, there's six holes for all the meter leads to come out and there's three terminal blocks one for the seconds meter one for the minutes meter and one for the hours down at the bottom this is where the power lead comes out this just goes to a plug-in transformer this is the battery backup which is just uh, powered by three AA batteries this three AA battery holder uh, comes into this terminal block and power gets rooted over to this top terminal block. And here's a close-up of the circuit board. I'll just go over briefly what the buttons and uh, jumpers are used for. The first jumper here is the scale adjust jumper. When this one is installed it'll allow you to adjust the full scale deflection of all three meters. The next one here is the smooth second jumper. When this one is installed the uh, second hand will actually move nice and slow. Uh, when it's out, it'll actually jump from second to second to second with a little bounce. And the three buttons down here are used to uh, adjust the time as well as adjust the scale. So in the standard run mode, when this one is pushed, it'll advance the hour by one. The next uh, button here, when it's pushed in standard mode, will adjust the minutes by one minute, it'll advance. And the last button here is the second adjustment. When that one's pushed, it'll just reset the seconds. Now, when you're in scale adjustment mode, the first button will actually uh, select which meter you're adjusting a scale for. So by pushing this, you'll go from hours to minutes to seconds, and then back to hours again. And the next button here will actually decrease the scale that you currently have selected. And the last one will increase the scale that you have selected. And there's an LED here, which is the heartbeat LED. That'll flash just to indicate that it's, uh, it's working and counting. Next thing we're going to do is adjust the clock for the first time. I've put a, uh, a freshly programmed PIC chip into here, so it doesn't have any of the uh, scale deflection information for any of these meters. It's, uh, it's completely default. I'm going to power up the circuits. And we'll see here that each meter in turn does a, uh, a self-test. And what it's actually doing is it's, uh, it's going full scale for what it knows is full scale. And by default, uh, full scale is actually about half of the, the, the pulse width modulation. Uh, so just so it doesn't pin the meters out. And then by default, uh, when the clock is powered up, it shows 12 o'clock. So, you know, this meter should actually be pointing at 12. It's not. So that tells us that we're, uh, we're quite far off uh, full scale deflection for that one. And the minutes and seconds will also be off. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm also going to install the battery backup. Okay, and we can see the heartbeat LED is flashing away. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the scale adjust jumper which was just uh, hanging on one pin and I'm going to short that out. So now we're actually in 
scale adjust mode. And you won't see this, but I'm going to be using these three buttons here, uh, as I described earlier, to actually do the adjustments. Okay, so this is what you see by default. Uh, the hour meter uh, is initially set to be adjusted. So I'm going to press the far right button, which is the uh, minute adjust button, and I'm going to increase that scale. So I'm pushing it now. Well, looks like it wasn't all the way over. I'm just doing it, doing this by feel. Okay, so I'm pushing the far right button now, and you can see the uh, needle is slowly moving towards full scale. Okay, so we're around about 11 here, and almost there. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'll back off just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to press the first button. That'll change the scale to minutes, and I will also increment this one here all the way to the end. Now, these meters aren't the best meters. Um, they're not 100% linear. They're pretty close. Okay, so that's at the end. I just press the first button to select the last meter. And I'm pressing increments to also bring that one to the end. And as you can see, only the meter that you're adjusting is, uh, is powered. The other meters are, are both dead. Okay, so that's pinned out to the end also. No, I'm not, not pinned out as in uh, over voltage, but it's actually just being, uh, just being placed on the, the end of the graduation there. So right now these meters are actually, meter scales are being held in memory. As soon as you remove this jumper, uh, right now it, it actually just got programmed to non-volatile memory onto the, uh, the PIC chip here. So from now on we can power up and power down all we want. Um, the system knows our full scale deflection of these, uh, these meters now. Okay, so, so this looks about right now. So we initially powered up and we were uh, 12 o'clock. So now this meter is actually pointing at 12. This meter is pointing at about three. And you can see seconds here is slowly increasing. And so right now we're, we're in the smooth second mode. I'll change that mode and you can see what that looks like. I've just pulled off the jumper and now you can actually see it sort of bounces back and forth. And you may have noticed there as soon as this one actually reset the minutes increased by one minute. So I'll put that jumper back in to get the smooth second effect which I prefer. nice and smooth. I'll just do a quick demonstration of battery backup mode. So right now we're running in standard mode. The system is plugged into the wall and the batteries are installed. I just kill the AC power. And that uh, transformer has a, a cap in it, obviously. It uh, takes a little while for the uh, transformer to bleed down. And so right now the system, all the, uh, the meters are off. And the heartbeat LED is not flashing. However, the microcontroller has sensed that it's in low power mode and actually is actually running off of these uh, batteries right now. And all it's doing is keeping time right now. So it's, uh, 
it's it's doing just the minimum amount of work to keep track of time. I'll turn the power back on and you'll see that the uh, meter scales immediately go back to uh, displaying the time that they should be. And I'll just do a quick demonstration of adjusting time. I'll just feel in the back here and I'll uh, hit the hours button so that jumps to one and then two and then three and I'll hit the minutes button so those are adjusting minute by minute or you can press and hold and it'll move quite rapidly and then all well, the seconds just reset by itself I'll just wait until it uh, advances a little bit Okay, so the seconds are sitting around 9 seconds, I'll just hit it, and it just resets it back to zero.